Tyler Morrison here once again with you, uh, telling you about my golf story. Uh, I'm going through my rough draft outline right now. Uh, so continuing where we left off, um, I told you about my introduction to the game of golf. Now I strayed away from it long enough that I was only partaking in the occasional, you know, annual family tournament. Um, didn't put any work into the game. Uh, what was weird was how I got back into the game. It was a strange thing that I was kind of, well, sneaking off to get away from my ex-wife. Um, so, I was a stickler for money, but I felt like $5 a bucket at the driving range was worth it. So that was my one foible. I admitted it each time because I can't lie so yeah sneaking off to the driving range and just trying to figure out at Ritter Learning Center you know all on my own that is <laughs> idiot you know how do I get this face square at impact I never figured that out when I was a youngster um, and I put in some good work and I kind of like taught myself the game again with some heavy uh, some big chunky game improvement irons and just a couple of Wally Worlds aluminum driver 460 cc specials, etc. etc. Um, some hot hybrids, though. I love those things anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, after that divorce, I began committing myself to the game. Um, I didn't have much of any, well, it's funny because I'm the only one of my closest friends that really plays this game, especially to the extent that I do. Even my brothers, uh, my oldest brother, uh, Shane, is a lover of the game as well, but, uh, he uh, he's very very busy and he does not often have the luxury of that time so um, we don't always match up same is true then as it is now uh, my brother Jesse's favorite part of golfing is I think when they serve drinks and the funny thing is that he is a flipping gorilla with a driver it is scary he kung fu's a driver. hi -ya. He does. He says hi -ya, and he's scary long. Um, so, he, yeah, he's he can play. He's He just doesn't like to. <laughs> so, uh, basically, I wrote this little note to myself. Who wants to golf with me? No one? <laughs> so that was much of what made up my personal golfing experience back, ooh, this would be, you know, my mid and late 20s, we'll say. Uh, currently, you find me 37 years old. So, um, yeah, that's how I got back into the game, kind of started building my swing from nothing and the swing I built for myself was all about just that squaring the club face so I had this short abbreviated backswing uh, everything was super stiff and strong but I don't know I figured out a way to make it work and then I lost my flow somehow it's kind of like when you uh, go to like new video game systems after being a master of some of them 8-bit systems with the cross pad and just A and B uh, you know, someone once told me when I picked up one of those games and I, like, died in quick succession three times. He was like, dude, you lost your flow? Yeah, I lost my 8-bit flow. I digress. I always digress. Um, so, yeah, that's how I got back into the game of golf. Uh, 